Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby with Fitness is Medicine. And today I'm gonna to show you a workout that you can do with a pair of ankle weights. So many of you probably have these um, sitting around your house from you know old aerobic videos or things like that. And I'm gonna show you some things you can do with them that don't involve a high intensity, you know, jumping around or anything like that. So the good thing about these ankle weights is generally they come in different weights and different sizes. And if you do have a pair sitting around your house, you can make them work for you. So um, this particular set has a zipper on the top where you can take out weights and then add them back in. I'm gonna leave them all in for this workout, but you can make them lighter. So if you have a pair that you just think is too heavy to do anything with, you can take some weights out and make them lighter and then use them. You can also try this workout without ankle weights. Um, and then if you feel like you need a little more, you can add a smaller amount back in. Um, I, have an, I have a few pairs at the gym that have little, they're little steel bars in them. And so you take each one out and make them lighter or heavier depending on your needs. Okay, so we're just gonna strap them to your ankles. I already have one on. We're gonna put this other one on so we can get started. Okay, we're going to start with some standing marches. So, well, I want you to stand near something where you can grab a hold if you need to for balance. I have got my treadmill here. You can use a kitchen counter, a kitchen sink. Um, all I want you to do is stand and slowly raise one knee and lower. So you're gonna notice the change in this if you have been doing these with me without ankle weights. Your leg is obviously going to feel heavier, so your hip flexor is having to engage here. Your core will have to engage a little bit. And then those stabilizing hip muscles, your glutes, will have to engage to keep you stable and not jogging out to the side like this. I want you to keep those hips stable Slowly lower and raise. Raise and lower those legs. So this is a good balance exercise, adding in a little bit more of a challenge with that weighted leg, raising and lowering. If you can, you can even slow this down further. So if you stand on one leg, count to three, switch. So we're just doing these slow standing marches, challenging that balance making all of these hip stabilizers really work. We're just gonna keep these ankle weights on for the entirety of this workout, so you don't have to be taking them on and off. This is a lower body workout, but you can also use these ankle weights in place of dumbbells or kettlebells or you know what have you, but just holding on to them in your hands with some workouts that, that I show you is a good way to just add that weight. Okay. Next, we're going to do some standing hamstring curls. So, we're gonna work those big muscles in the back of your leg, raise and lower those ankles. So, sometimes you may need to fit, may need to tighten those up a little bit. So, this is a bent knee exercise. So, you're standing next to something for stability, so you can really focus on those hamstrings. Curl it up and slowly lower it down. So we want this to be a slow and controlled movement, and you will really feel that back here in those hamstrings. If it's too much, like I said, you can take some weight out. You wanna keep your posture nice and tall, keep your shoulders down, keep everything else relaxed, but you are keeping this hip strong and curling up. So you don't wanna be letting that jut out to the side like that. That's relaxing those muscles and gives you a little bit less range of motion also for these hamstring curls. So you wanna go all the way up and then slowly lower down. Sometimes it's easier to do these standing exercises when we're working on one leg or the other. If you stand on a little bit of a raised surface, I have a thick foam pad in my gym that I like to do things like this on. It gives you a little bit more range of motion, but just standing on a flat floor is good too. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. Stand up nice and tall. We're keeping this knee in alignment here. So you don't wanna be reaching back like this. And you also don't wanna be pulling up like this. We already did those standing marches. So we're just bending your knee and lowering it. 
bringing that foot up and down. Really isolating those hamstrings here. Lots of people, you know, like in a gym type situation, you can sit on those machines where you curl your legs back, but there's a lot of ways to work your hamstrings without those big clunky machines. And this is a really good way to do it, especially when you're isolating one side versus the other. You can really identify if one feels harder than the other. You might wanna spend a little more time working on that to try to get that muscle balance. Okay, now we're going to lower down to the floor. So I'm gonna refresh my screen here. And we're gonna do some leg lifts. So we're gonna lie down on your back. Be careful move, maneuvering around with these on because it can challenge your balance a little. So make sure you're not moving too far between and just really taking your time with these. So we're gonna lie down on your back, knees bent, flatten your back to that floor and straighten one leg out. So we're going to do leg lifts. Now, importantly with these leg lifts, really focus on keeping that back flat to the floor. We're raising it up to where it's level with this other knee and then almost back down to the floor, but not touching. And that really keeps this quad engaged and your hip flexors. So this one, especially since we're working on a long lever here, you may find it with the ankle weight that you chose is a little heavy. So you can, you know, press pause, take some weight out and try again. Again, these are ones that can be difficult without weight. So try these without weight first and then find, see if you want to add in that extra ankle weight, that extra weight at the end of your leg. I don't recommend going for walks with ankle weights on. Um, they used to have a deal where you had wrist weights, but really swinging your arms for that amount of time with extra weight on the end of your wrists can be hard on your shoulders and your elbows. So I don't recommend doing things like that because it's really hard on those joints. All right, I think that's 10. Slowly lower back. And we're gonna turn over onto our sides. So I want to bend my knees and think about bringing my ankles towards my hips. So there are exercises, which many of you may have done, called clamshells, especially if you've had any hip, hip injury or surgery or knee surgeries. We're gonna do an opposite clamshell. So you can lie your head down flat here, maybe use a pillow. You wanna to try to do the best you can to keep your head all in line here with your spine. In an opposite clamshell, you're gonna pick up your foot and keep your knees together. So slowly going up and down. I wanna keep my hips stacked here. I don't wanna roll forward but I wanna keep, so I'm keeping everything in line here. My hips are stacked, my knees are brought up and my ankles are lifted up towards, bent up towards my hips. Slowly lowering, and this is another one too. You might wanna try this first without ankle weights because this can be really challenging. We're really targeting those glutes here. So these are really good stabilizing muscles. And 10, I think. So now we're going to turn over onto the other side. Try to get a nice alignment here with your head and your spine. Your hips and shoulders are stacked. Bring in those ankles towards your hips and then we'll lift and lower the opposite one. So everything else should be relaxed here. You're just really working right here in your glutes. Those hip stabilizers that are so important for balance and gait and proper walking patterns. Nice and slow. And you may find that one hip feels easier than the other too. So if you find that you only want um, ankle weights on one side for now, that's okay, but maybe start with a really low weight and just body weight on the other until you start building up these muscles with just body weight. Okay, now we're gonna turn over onto your hands and knees. 
and we're going to do a hip extension. So what I want you to do is we're going to keep your hands directly below your shoulders, your knees directly below your hips. Get turned here. And I'm going to have you straighten out one leg, lift it up, and come forward here. I'm going to lift it up just so it's equally in line with the rest of my body. I'm pressing my heel towards the back wall. Bring my knee in towards my chest and then press back out. So this is getting your hamstrings and your glutes nice and slowly here. Again, try this first without ankle weights. They're easy to kind of take on and off. Um, so you could try each of these. What I would recommend is trying each of these without the ankle weights to begin with. And then seeing, okay, you know, that felt pretty easy. I'm going to try it with the ankle weights, but maybe just half the weights in the ankle weights to begin with. Okay, now we're going to switch sides. So remember your hands are directly below your shoulders, your knees directly below your hips. Straight out, thinking about leading with that heel. You're pressing your heel to the back wall. Bring your knee in and back out. If you have any pain with any of these, stop. As always, you don't want to push through any pain. There's a difference between a little muscle tiredness and fatigue and soreness and pain. But if you do have any hip or knee pain with these, stop. And don't use the ankle weights for sure. Nice and slowly, just pressing your heel towards that back wall. You want a straight line here from your hip out to your heel. I don't want to raise it up above the level of my hips. Just straight out. Okay, good. Now the last one we're going to turn back over onto your back. We're going to do a core exercise. Okay, so lying down. Importantly, press your back to the mat. And I want you to lift up your knees towards your nose and then set them back down. Now, if you're able to do this without back pain, again, try this first without ankle weights. If you do have back pain, I probably wouldn't do this with ankle weights. But really, when you get down to that lower part is when you really want to focus on flattening that back, keeping your back as flat to the ground as you can. Lift your knees, lower, really maintain that stable position. Slowly lower it down, kick those knees up. Keep your hands down here beside your hips too for a little bit of extra stabilization. And then if you can, if these are feeling pretty good to you, try to raise and lower your knees without setting your feet down. But if you really feel your arch on your back coming up as you're lowering your feet down, set your feet down, reposition, and try again. But keeping that back flat is where your abs are really having to engage to keep everything in alignment and keep your back protected. Let's try two more. And it's okay to set them down in between. The alternate way to do this, if this is hurting um, or it's just really, really hard, especially with the ankle weights, is to do one at a time. So you can raise and lower one knee at a time and this is a good way to kind of ease into this exercise where it will work your hip flexors a little bit more, or you can even do one leg at a time, really focusing on keeping that back flat to the floor and then switching. But you'll really get the benefits of those abs after you're able to start lifting up both. So, Remember, start these without ankle weights, go through them all once, and then add and see, um, see how they feel. And if there's any pain, always stop. Use that, use the, the option where you can lower the weights in, um, in the ankle weights. So this one has five. So these are five pound ankle weights. By taking one out, then they're four pounds. So, you know, it's easy to make these work for you and do a great lower body workout at home. All right. 
subscribe, like my video, let me know if you have any more ideas. I'm happy to take suggestions and have a great week, everybody. Thank you so much.